Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and we are back with another Devember tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make site-wide color changes super easy. Uh, it doesn't involve any coding or custom CSS. It doesn't involve going into a bunch of different settings. It's literally a find and replace type of tool in order to change all the, co the color in every place on the site, which is pretty powerful. And so it's a very quick way to make quick color scheme changes without having to go into each individual Divi module, section, row, theme customizer, and that sort of thing. And so it's a really cool tutorial. So this is part of our Divember series here on Divi Life. Divember, it stands for Divi Plus November, and it is the series that we're doing all month long during November. And we are doing Divi tutorials. We are doing Divi freebies. We are launching new Divi products. We're launching new updates and features to some of our existing Divi products. So there's definitely a lot to be excited about. And so if you wanna make sure that you don't miss out on the Devember fun, make sure that you subscribe to our email list. So it's this big button here that says subscribe to Divi Life and never miss a tutorial or freebie. You simply pop in your name and email, hit submit, and then we'll update you as we add new Divi tutorials and Divi freebies and Divi products and all that good stuff. And of course you can unsubscribe at any time. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna be going over how to quickly make site-wide color changes to your Divi website. And so for example here, this is uh, one of our child themes, Divi Conference, uh, with it's actually using one of our custom headers in our uh, Divi header layout pack. But you can see here, just a simple explanation of what we're doing here is changing the color scheme uh, in a really, really quick way. And so obviously this is a logo, so that, that gets changed uh, separately. Now, I wanna say really quick, so you might be saying, well, Divi has this built in. Is that what, what you're showing? And the answer is no. So Divi does have find and replace uh, in efficiency tools like extend styles, or you can do a find and replace uh, within your Divi layout, but it's limited to that layout. So to that page that you're on, you can't do it site wide. And it's only for the stuff that's actually inside of the Divi content. So for example, for settings that are in the, the, the theme customizer or uh, for colors that are in uh, third party plugins and stuff like that, uh, that doesn't get changed, and so you have to go in and do it separately. And so the method I'm gonna show you right now allows you to quickly change colors anywhere on the site, as long as it's saved in the database. So for example, if you have custom CSS that's in a style sheet, unfortunately this method won't work. It has to be in the database in order for it to work. Uh, however, if you are have a style sheet, you can do a find and replace uh, with a uh, a file editor tool anyway. So, so this is for anything that's saved in the database. So again, it's all the Divi content, it's any theme customizer content, it's settings saved by a plugin. Uh, it is custom CSS if the custom CSS is saved inside of Divi theme options or another custom CSS type box within the WP admin area. And so it's really, really easy to do. And so um, again, I, I laid out some scenarios here uh, in the blog post. So for example, say you're using a premium Divi child theme, uh, whether you purchased it from us, purchased it from another developer out there, and uh, premium child themes are a great way to kickstart a project because it's like a ready-made website template. All you do is populate your, your content. But a lot of cases, you might love the design, but it doesn't fit the, the branding, the color scheme of your website or your client's website, whoever you're building the website for. And so you need to change the color scheme. And so if it's built in Divi, a lot of times all those colors are gonna be defined in the Divi Builder settings uh, throughout the modules and sections and rows or in the theme customizer. And it might have some plugins integrated with it that have some additional color settings saved there as well. And so it's like you end up spending hours going through and, and replacing all those colors and then you don't even know if it's gonna look good either. And so the method I'm gonna show you right now allows you to easily, quickly make those changes site-wide. Another example is if you're doing a client site and your client says, you know what, I like it, but I think it, we need to change the color. The, the, this red needs to be brighter. The logo needs to be bigger, right? That's the, the common example with clients. Logo needs to be bigger. But they always say, oh, I need, it needs to be brighter, bolder. And so you're like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. And so uh, with this method I'm gonna show you, you can easily do that site-wide uh, without having to go into each individual thing. And so uh, basically the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna install this plugin. 
It's called the Better Search Replace plugin. Uh, this is the one that I recommend. It's by Delicious Brains. Uh, it's it's very good. There's some other ones. If you type search replace, you have to be careful though because some of them on there will uh, you basically set some search and replace rules, but it doesn't go and actually change in the database. It's basically going to change as it renders the page for the user, and that you don't want that. You want to be able to do it once and for all, change to the database, and then you can uninstall the plugin. Uh, you don't want to have to keep it on there because the other method I'm talking about, uh, you have to keep the plugin, and if you uninstall the plugin, then your changes go away, and that's that's not helping anybody. So um, I have my my demo site here. Now this is what it looks like. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Just go to the the plugins directory and type "better search replace," and you'll see the branding that looks like this. And so this is what it looks like once when you go to the uh, the settings screen. It's under tools, so tools better search replace uh, so you if you look for it anywhere else you won't find it and so not a lot of stuff gets hidden under tools so uh, I want to make that clear because uh, it's definitely something that you can easily get missed um, and so basically all you do is you pop in the color you want to change and then you pop in the color you want to replace it with and then you select all the tables and hit go and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you so um, so this is the site here. This is the Divi Conference child theme from Divi Life. And uh, it's a great looking child theme. And we, we're using one of our custom headers from the Divi header layout pack that we have here at Divi Life. And it looks good, but these colors to me aren't as exciting uh, and, and bold and colorful as I, I might like for a conference. And so, so for example, this would fit a conference, you know, kind of a more corporate type finance conference. But what if you're doing a design conference and you want bold, beautiful colors? And so you can easily do that. Uh, you can cha uh, easily change that using this method. And so, for example, these headers, or I'm sorry, these colors here are, are, uh, are in the theme builder because this is a, th a custom theme builder header. And then this color, color here is in the um, uh, on the page itself. Same with these colors here, here buttons, everything. And so, um, and I think some of these colors might even be with a third-party plugin that we use uh, for this. So colors are being saved in multiple different places, not just on the Divi page. And so, uh, so that's why you can't just go and do a, a quick Divi find and replace within that uh, that one layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and I already have these colors copied down, but basically I'm gonna take the color I want to change. And, and you can choose whether or not you put the hashtag or hexadecimal. Um, it, it shouldn't matter, but to be safe, I would say put it just in case. Um, one thing I wanna say though, before we go any further, and I have this detailed in the blog post multiple times, is you are editing the database with this method. And so you want to make sure that you're careful. However, you don't want to just trust yourself and that you're inputting the right stuff. So it's always best to do a backup and download the backup because when you're editing things like the database, uh, you can potentially bring down your whole site. Uh, usually when you're doing more like URL type replacing, uh, if you're just doing colors, it's probably not going to fully bring down your site, but you might put something in wrong and it's not a real color and you know, an extra digit or something. And then, so then all of a sudden now the front end, uh, it's not able to, to show your colors properly. And so um, it's best to always have a backup done first, just kind of general rule of thumb, anytime you're doing anything major on your site. Uh, and then this would fall under that category. And so it's, it's safe to do, but it's always good just to have a backup just in case. So this is the color, uh, this gold color here, or tan, whatever you want to call it, that I want to replace. And then the color I want to replace it with is right here. And so, as I mentioned, you can choose to have the hashtag or hexadecimal. Uh, it's optional, but you just need to be consistent with it. You don't want to have it here and then not put it here because that will that's an example of something that will break your site. So it's optional, just needs to be consistent uh, across the board here. Now, this is where you... Um, basically select all the tables that you want. And so I'm just going to do command A to select all. So I want it changed throughout everywhere. Um, and then there's this box right here to make it case insensitive. That means it doesn't matter if it's uppercase, lowercase. If it finds an uppercase version of this, change it. If it finds a lowercase version of it, change it. 
And so uh, that's important. So there's, in my opinion, for at least for what we're doing here with colors, you always want to make sure that this is checked. Um, and so I'm going to scroll down here. Now I have this detailed here in the blog post, basically the steps, um, but we're basically doing that live here in real time. But you can go back and refer to this later if you like. So, uh, <clears throat> so now we have all the tables selected. I have the case and sensitive box checked. Now there's a box right here to run as a dry run. I recommend doing that first, especially as you're getting familiar with this tool is you want to run as a dry run. So you just keep that checked. It's checked by default. And then up here, it's going to tell you, okay, first of all, it's a dry run. Then it's going to tell you what it would have done if it wasn't a dry run. So then you can see 17 tables were searched, 63 cells were found. And it just kind of tells you what would have happened. And so it's think of it as a practice run and an opportunity to make sure that you have your color set correctly as well. And so we're going to go ahead and uncheck that and do the same thing again. So it saves all the settings there. So we wouldn't have to input them again. And we're going to go and run a search and replace. Now I'm going to go ahead and just do it again with my other colors here. So I'm only going to be changing two colors for this demo. And uh, I'm going to uncheck it just because I'm familiar with this tool. I'm not going to do it as a dry run. But I, again, I want to keep that case insensitive. I want to make sure that all of these are selected. OK, run, search, and replace. And so you can see 17 tables, 27 cells, and updated 27. So now let's go over here and refresh this page. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to actually bring up the live demo so we can compare. Okay, so this right here is the actual version minus the custom header that we have in our example. And we see we kind of have a, a brown, a dark brown, and then we have our tan color throughout. And then here, we've replaced the tan gold color with the pink. And then we've replaced the dark brown color with the blue. And this is all throughout the site. So here we have tan everywhere. And now on our version, we have our pink bold color here. Uh, very, very cool. Now, obviously, you're going to see right off the bat, well, the logo is wrong. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I already uploaded a logo um, with the updated color. And so I'm just going to go ahead and make that change here just so we can tie up the loose end and actually have it fully customized. And so uh, obviously it's a logo, it's an image. So it's not a color that's saved inside of the database so our find and replace won't work on it so i'm just going to go ahead and quickly change my logo here click update click save and we'll go ahead and refresh okay so obviously changing a logo isn't part of the demo but wanted to show the full before and after. So pretty cool. It looks great. Lots of uh, great looking stuff here. Now, if you were truly customizing a child theme, you'd probably be updating your images as well and doing other things. This is by no means a finished website, but it shows you how quickly you can make site-wide color scheme changes even though the colors are saved in different places with different methods whether it's the page builder whether it's a plugin whether it's custom css and the the theme options and so it's very very quick and easy way to do it so that's all there is to it so this is a very powerful tool you could use this for other things such as uh, changing urls uh, which is probably the most common use for it changing http uh, references to https and and so forth uh, today we wanted to focus on the colors. I've used this tool to make content changes. If there was a, a certain word that was used in, in quite a few places or, or 
uh, across the site or a phrase could use this to, to replace it without having to go into each one. Uh, say, for example, you have a, an address that gets updated uh, and you want to just you know make that tweak. And if it's saved in multiple places, well, you can use this to go and, and replace it site-wide uh, without having to go into all the different places. So it's a really, really uh, great efficiency tool uh, to have in your tool belt. Uh, to use for stuff like this. Um, so we highly, highly recommend it. So um, if you found this tutorial useful, subscribe to our email list. As I mentioned, this is all part of our Divember series here at Divi Life, where we are uh, doing Divi tutorials, giving away Divi freebies, launching new Divi products, and launching new features to some of our existing Divi products. And so you don't want to miss out on that. You can subscribe here and uh, we'll notify you with new tutorials and freebies and products and all that good stuff. And of course, you can unsubscribe at any time. So um, now if you are watching live right now, do me a favor, just write live and then where you're tuning in from. So if you're watching live on Facebook or watching live on YouTube, just write live and San Clemente, California, that's where I'm at, or live and wherever you are in the world, uh, we want to know. And then the same thing if you're watching the replay later on our blog or on Facebook or on YouTube, write replay and then where you're watching from. So that will help us for tracking purposes, who watches live versus the replay, and then also who watches all the way to the end because this is the end of the tutorial. And then, of course, it's fun to know where people are tuning in from because we have customers and subscribers uh, and followers from all over the world, which is very, very cool. So uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in to this November Divi tutorial. Uh, can't wait to uh, launch some of the stuff we've been working on as part of November. So stay tuned for that. And until tomorrow, take care. Bye-bye.